Good day everyone! Welcome to Math Made Easy with Mom Bell. And if you are new to this channel, Lovely Day with Bell, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be notified to my upcoming videos, okay? Our topic for today is about finding the common factors and the greatest common factor or GCF of 2 to 4 numbers using continuous division. But before I proceed to my main lesson, let me just explain that common factors are factors that are the same for two or more numbers. The GCF or greatest common factor is the greatest number contained exactly in two or more numbers. Factors are also divisors, so it follows that the greatest common factor is also the greatest common divisor of the given numbers. Some numbers like 25 and 18 have no common factors other than 1. The numbers are said to be relatively prime. And one way of solving for the greatest common factor of a set of given numbers is through continuous division method. As its name implies, it is done with repeated division until all given numbers are not any more divisible by one common divisor other than 1. The following steps are considered in this method. Step 1. Write the given numbers horizontally and determine a common prime factor that will divide all the numbers. Step 2. Write its common prime factor at the left side of the horizontal line and write the quotients below the numbers. Repeat the process until there is no common prime divisor. And Step 3. Multiply all the prime divisors, which is the greatest common factor or the GCF. Let's start our discussion with this example. BJ has three boxes of toy cars. The first box contains 12 toy cars. The second box has 16 toy cars. And the third box has 20 toy cars. He divided each box of toys equally among his younger cousins. What is the biggest possible number of toy cars that each of his cousins will receive? To answer the problem, Find the greatest common factor or GCF of 12, 16, and 20. We can find this by using continuous division method or also known as ladder method. The first thing that we should do is write the given numbers 12, 16, and 20 in a horizontal line and determine a common prime factor that will divide all the numbers. Next step is write its common prime factor to the left side of 12, 16, and 20 and write the quotient below the numbers. Repeat the process until there is no common prime factor or divisor. Step 3. Multiply all common prime factors or divisor. In our example, we have 2 times 2 equals 4. So the GCF is 4. Therefore, each casin will receive four toy cars let's have more examples what is the GCF of 18 and 27 here is the solution first write 18 and 27 horizontally then what prime number can divide 18 and 27 let's start from the smallest prime number which is 2 can we divide 18 by 2 yes what about 27 no. So, let's proceed to the next prime number, which is 3. Can we divide 18 by 3? Yes. What about 27? Yes. Since 3 is the common prime factor of 18 and 27, then we will write 3 at the left as the divisor. And then, divide 18 by 3 and then 27 by 3. The quotient will be written below the dividends. Okay, so 18 divided by 3, the answer is 6. 27 divided by 3, the answer is 9. Let's continue the process until none of the numbers have a common divisor. So ask the same question. Can we divide 6 by 2? Yes. What about 9? No. If not... Then proceed to the next prime number, which is 3. Can we divide 6 by 3? Yes. What about 9? Yes. Since 3 is the common prime factor of 6 and 9, then write 3 at the left. And then divide. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. 
and the 9 divided by 3 is 3. Is there a common prime number that divides 2 and 3? If none, then these numbers are relatively prime because there are no more factors for this. And this stops our division process. Then get the product of all the prime divisors. So we have 3 times 3. The answer is 9. Therefore, the greatest common factor of 18 and 27 is 9. Let's have another example. Find the GCF of 28, 56, and 42. Write the numbers horizontally, 28, 56, 42. And then, what prime number can divide 28, 56, and 42? We have 7. And then, write the quotient below the dividends. So, 28 divided by 7 is 4. 56 divided by 7 is 8. 42 divided by 7 is 6. Continue the process until none of the numbers have a common divisor. What prime number can divide 4, 8, and 6? We have 2. Okay, so 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. And 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Is there a common prime factor that can divide 2, 4, and 3? If there's none, then these numbers are relatively prime because there are no more factors for this. This stops our division process. Okay, so now multiply all the divisors. We have 7 and 2. So 7 times 2 is 14. Therefore, the GCF of 28, 56, and 42 is 14. What have you learned today? You have learned that the greatest common factor or GCF of two or more numbers is the largest factor or divisor among the common factors of the numbers. Continuous division. Continuous division, also known as ladder method, is a process of solving for the greatest common factor or GCF of a set of numbers. It is done by repetitive division with common factors as divisor and multiplying all common divisors to get the greatest common factor or GCF. It's practice time! Okay, so I prepared an activity for you to apply what you've learned in this lesson. Answer it in just 5 minutes. The timer starts now.
all for today's lesson. Have a lovely day everyone!